So, you've just graduated from film school. Now what? Well, I thought I'd give you a little story from my own experience about how I approached that question when I graduated from film school back in 2007. Now, I should say that my, uh, up front that my thinking about this from the very, you know, from the, the very moment that I graduated and even before was that I knew I did not want to slow down with making movies. I did not want to take any kind of break. I didn't want to put anything on pause. I did not want to get derailed, sidetracked, distracted, or otherwise, you know, off course with continuing to make films. Now, I'll say the way that the film school uh, program that I went to, that I graduated from, was set up is we had, in addition to, of course, all the other classes, there were basically three main uh, production classes that, that, you know, you would take um, one after the other. And the first was uh, called Film One at that time. Now, Film One was basically a an introductory type of class where we would shoot on, at that time, 16 millimeter uh, film using a Bolex camera. And it was really a great way to get down to the basics of putting a film together. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in another video. Anyway, but that was, that was um, Film One. So it was a series of projects. You know, you would work with a group, have general assignments that you would follow. It was a great introduction and one of the best classes I took in film school, but I'm going to talk about that in another video, as I say. Now, the next one was, uh, the next class that you would take was film two. Film two was um, also, you know, working on 16 millimeter color film, sync sound, narrative. This was a class where uh, the, basically the way it would work is everybody in the class would have the chance to write and direct their own short film. You'd be put into groups, uh, everybody would have their own, uh, everybody would write their own script and the group would basically help each other um, uh, create each film. I'm also going to talk a little bit more about that process in another video, but you get the idea, right? So, the, so you're going from kind of the short, uh, very basic introductory types of um, filmmaking exercises to making your own sync sound color narrative film on 16 millimeter in film two. Now, uh, I'll just say for the film two project, I created a short film called The Dinner Engagement, which uh, I have available on YouTube. And The Dinner Engagement was a, uh, a short comedy, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that you know, later, but my, my point is that it was a, uh, that was the film that I made for the film two project. And I know that I knew that I wanted to continue making comedies at that time. So, uh, through a series of, you know, different circumstances, I ended up having, uh, enough credits to graduate from film school before getting to take the film three course, if you follow me. So, you know, I had taken film one, I had taken film two, and next was going to be Film 3. Now, I decided not to take the Film 3 course, partly because I didn't need the credits, but there's another reason. The way uh, that I understand it, at least at the time that I was in this program, the way the Film 3 course worked was that everybody in the class would pitch a script idea or a story idea, and then the class would vote on which script to produce for that semester's um, project. And then I, I also believe, if I remember correctly, that the crew positions were also decided uh, by the class, uh, you know, voting who would be the director, who would be the producer, uh, cinematographer, and so on. So I had heard about this, and I gotta say I didn't really like it, because I didn't really have, I wasn't real close with any, uh, anyone in the program, my, my you know, classmates. I, I didn't, I wasn't real close with anyone. And also the types of films that I wanted to make were a little different, I think, from what a lot of uh, folks wanted to make at that time. Um, you know, I, like I said, I wanted to make comedies and I had kind of this, uh, if you go back and look at some of the earlier films that I've made that I, I have on YouTube, there's a lot of slapstick comedy, a lot of physical comedy, and yeah, this just wasn't really in the vein of what a lot of other people wanted to make. 
that's fine, right? But that's what I wanted to do, and I really wanted to make the kinds of films that I wanted to make. So I looked at this situation from all sides, and I said, you know, I'd love to have the experience of working with the group and making the Film 3 project or whatever, but I know that realistically, uh, I'm not, you know, going to be... Uh, you know, I'm not really going to have the opportunity to be directing it, and, and, you know, I don't have any way of really controlling what script is uh, is chosen. So I said, you know, this, this to me could be an interesting way of uh, getting experience on a short film, but I didn't think it was really for me, right? And plus, like I said, I had all the uh, credits that I needed to graduate by that point. Uh, I, I was fortunate I was working at a uh, paid internship at that time, and was able to actually get uh, credits for it. So that helped, you know, put me where I needed to be to graduate. So, so I, I decided to skip the Film 3 project, uh, the Film 3 course, and, uh, but like I said, I knew, I knew I did not want to stop making films. I did not want to pause or, you know, take, take the, the summer off or anything like that, because I knew that to do so runs the risk of getting uh, sidetracked, and I and I said, you know, I even if I don't have any, uh, you know, any budget or anyone to work with or whatever, I want to keep making films. You know, I knew this. Uh, this was very important to me. So I I viewed what I was going to do was to basically take the time that I had during the remainder of this of that summer, and make a short film, uh, the, sh the kind of short comedy that I would have liked to have made had I had that control over it in, in taking the Film 3 class. So basically what I did was I, I had written a script called Laughter and Medicine, and this film is up on my, uh, on my other YouTube channel. I may start uploading some of these over here. I, I think I'm going to start transitioning some of you know, my filmmaking efforts over to this channel, but anyway, I'll put the link in the description so you can see it right now. Uh, Anyway, so Laughter in Medicine uh, was a short comedy about a medical student who returns home from, you know, several years at a very expensive medical school, and his parents are thrilled that he's, uh, he's graduated and uh, that he, they think he's going to be opening his own medical practice, and it turns out that he's actually abandoning all that and giving it all up to pursue um, stand-up comedy. Now, when I had this idea of making this movie. This was just one of many comic comedy ideas that I had, had been mulling over. But um, when I set out to make it, I said, you know, I want this film to be kind of the culmination of everything that I learned in film school. I, I, I said, I'm going to view this, even though I had already graduated and even though this was not in any way affiliated at all with the school or any, any class or anything, I said, I'm basically going to treat this like what my Film 3 project would have been. So that's how I approached it, and in some ways I do consider Laughter in Medicine to be kind of my final film school project for that reason. You see, I wanted to make something that, um, that I wanted to make, right? And to do it in a way that I, you know, that I could do it and still have the creative control over it. So I, I share the story just because if you are, um, you know, either if you've just graduated from film school or, you know, even if you graduated from film school years ago and, and maybe haven't made a film since then or haven't made much and you'd like to make more. All I'm saying is from my own experience, and this, you know, this is all I can, this is all I can offer for this, my own experience, of course, but I just found that by committing myself and knowing that I didn't uh, want to get derailed or sidetracked from it and not allowing myself to get derailed or sidetracked from it, that uh, setting that that you know setting myself on that course and making this film uh, really helped for me to transition out of the kind of controlled environment of film school where you're surrounded by like-minded people, you have access to gear, you have the luxury of time and the resources to make your student films. And I felt that uh, I found that by making Laughter and Medicine, by making this short film. Uh, after graduation, and kind of thinking of it almost as like a sort of final, or, you know, project or a capstone project or whatever, I, I found that it really allowed me to um, s uh, to transition out of that film school environment and into continuing to make films for myself on my own with whatever resources I had. 
I'll say this too about laughter in medicine that uh, as far as the casting goes, I, you know, just like with using whatever materials I had at hand, I, I cast my, my parents in the film. It was me and my parents, you know, playing my parents in the movie. So it worked out. And I thought that, you know, I, I, I think it worked out well um, under the circumstances. So that was a way for me to make the film quickly and cheaply and to have that experience of making ultimately the film that I wanted to make. So I'll leave it at that. I, I think uh, you get the picture that, you know, it's uh, as I always say, it's just so important to keep making films. And that is really the thing. If you want to make films, keep making them, um, you know, find however that works for you, whatever you have to do to do that. Um, but, you know, this is just one more story from my own experience that I hoped might uh, spark some, some thought or some inspiration uh, for anyone who's interested. Anyway, I'll talk to you later.